Tonight, an update to a story that had a lot of you talking about the state of health care in our country. A woman came to us in June when she found out she got kicked off Medicaid after 10 years. So we started digging and officials admitted, yeah, they made a pretty major mistake. The lingering question, would she get her Medicaid back? Special assignment unit reporter Whitney Wild has the answer for us. Andrea Levant needs home nursing every day without exception. The price is high and for years Medicaid handled the bill. Now what she desperately needs is gone. Mm -hmm. Andrea Levant's morning routine starts with someone Hello. else. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, push me back a little bit. I don't get out of bed without the services. What are you wearing today? She lives with muscular dystrophy and needs home nursing every day. According to an invoice she showed us, the cost can run about $2,250 every month. It's so expensive that when we met Andrea for the first time, her friend Josie Gilliland was filling in. She can't reach across the counter to get toothpaste or, you know, grab things off of a shelf. From 2007 through this June, Medicaid paid the bill. Those payments stopped over the summer. Hey, can you hear me now? Hey, I'm calling. I'm trying to reach a Martin Smith. A me he's a medical care program specialist. Oh, you transferred me to Peter Smith. I'm looking for Martin Smith. But after WUSA 9's special assignment unit started making calls, we found out Maryland officials made a pretty big mistake. So the medical assistance was based on zero income. And I'm saying that that was a department error. This was a clip of Andrea's appeals hearing. And that voice you heard, he was representing the Prince George's County Department of Social Services. He said he didn't want to be photographed at the request of management. During that hearing, he said that someone there figured Andrea made no money when deciding whether or not to approve her for Medicaid. That's not the case. She has a full-time job, and in her Medicaid application, she told officials that. She also told them how much she made. It was more than the Medicaid limit. In looking at the case, we did not use her income correctly or apply it correctly when processing the application. Our SAU team got a copy of Judge Michael Osborne's decision in Andrea's case. He noted multiple failures by officials. At one point, they pointed to this code to explain why they ended her Medicaid. That code doesn't exist. The judge also wrote the agency presented no evidence as to how it discovered that it had, for over two years, approved her. However, he decided that confusion plus mistakes doesn't change the math and he ended her Medicaid. I was very sad. I think reaction is, you know, that I'm trying to get a handout or anything like that, and it's actually quite the contrary. Um, I'm trying to really be a responsible person, responsible citizen. She's hoping for a change in the system and better training for the people who approved her for Medicaid in the first place. For now, she's relying on donations in pulling from her retirement. Everything that I know is here, um, and so I'm gonna fight to, to keep that because I've worked really hard for it. I deserve just as much as the next person to, to be able to um, live my life. Andrea faces the possibility of having to pay the Medicaid benefits back. That could add up to tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. She's researching other insurance programs, but worries if she works with the same agencies, she'll end up on the wrong end of yet another mistake. Whitney Wild, WUSA 9.